Hey, it's Frankie here, and we're going to talk about how to have the four-hour work week in an agency life, which is actually one of the hardest business models in the world to do it, and Zelda B just dropped in and wants to say hello. It's a little morning here, so let's get into how to have that four-hour week. Now, full transparency here, I probably work about 10 to 15 hours a week in my agency. And uh, I do about two hours a day most days, some days a little longer, but I spend probably a great deal more thinking about what to do in those two hours. And I could do less, but I, it's just the right amount for me. I like doing it. Um, and it didn't start that way. So if you're thinking like you're just gonna push play and day one you're gonna have this perfect uh, four hour week. By the way, that's a nice little sea of Cortez over there. We have a German grandmother conversation happening in the background. My kids are running around the yard. So let's say you wanna get an agency that not only like, you know, makes you a lot of money, but the clients are happy and it requires barely any inputs from you. Before you can actually get to that point, there's a couple of things that really stop you from doing that. I want to go over some of the really big ones. The first big one are requests on your time. Uh, one of the big ones are meetings and emails and phone calls and all of these things. They don't sound like a big deal when you got three clients, but try that when you got 50 or 100 and everybody's saying, hey, can you call me? Can you meet with me? I've actually had an, an agency with so many SEO clients that, you know, they ask me to meet all day, but then they also want you to be responsible for the deliverables, right? Like you gotta actually rank the website. I know, go figure. So you have to put in some kind of process with your expectations to intentionally say no to meetings. And the way to deal with that actually is in your expectations to enforce your boundaries, to say, here's how I work and I don't do meetings or I only do 10 minute meetings or whatever it is. Um, in your particular case. Um, second big thing that, by the way, that'll stop you from actually having that four hour work week. And by the way, funny little thing about the four hour work week, Tim Ferriss admits that he works 80 hour weeks. <laughs> the guy who wrote the 40 hour, four hour work week works eight, eight hour, 80 hour weeks. So second thing is customization, meaning you're doing too many random custom jobs for different clients. So one example, like in the beginning, somebody said, hey, can you do SEO for this person? I said, yeah. And then they said, can you do um, Google AdWords? And I said, yeah. And they said, can you help us redesign this website? And I said, yeah. And then they said, can you help us write some copy for this? And I said, yeah. Well, it's real hard to systematize all this random custom work, right? A, a random custom work, like if you think about food requires a chef and what we're aiming for is a McDonald's-like predictable experience. Obviously better quality than shitty ass McDonald's food, but just the idea that it's predictably done the same way over and over. So you wanna think about how can I create one great experience that I can do again and again. Now I'll tell you the, uh, the third thing that keeps people from having a actual four hour agency, or more, maybe more like 10 to 15 in my case, 20, um, a, is, this thought, and you probably had it if you got employees or you've been thinking about hiring employees, where you go, you know, it's just easier to do it myself. Why should I go and give it to somebody else? I'm gonna pay money and it's gonna take twice as long. I'm probably gonna have to correct things. It'd just be easier just to do it myself. And all that idea sounds cool. By the way, my hair looks terrible. I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. Um, and while it seems like it would be easier to do it yourself, um, the challenge with that is you'll only ever be able to grow to the maximum of your time and you'll run out of it real, real fast. You know, I've got a couple of people that in our mastermind started that way where um, they show up and they are basically full capacity and everything they do is just easier to do it themselves. So they're maxed out on time and maxed out on clients and they really can't go anywhere. And they're hoping they can find that unicorn employee who'll take all the miserable work off their hands, which you usually don't find by the way. Sorry, hate to break it to you. 
So, Papa, I don't know if you hear my <laughs> Zelda is calling for. Zelda, we're over here. Papa's here. Papa's right here. Um, there we go. Hello. Uh, so, Baba. So the fourth thing, by the way, that keeps you from having that actual four-hour work weekend. Again, when I say that, I mean the one where you actually have a lot of clients, and those clients are happy and getting results, and you are not the one mostly delivering those, is everything that you do in your agency is right here instead of out there on paper, in processes, in procedures, or documented videos, training things. In fact, one of my big secrets with having really great employees is I do have really great people, but it's not um, just because they're great people. It's because you they walk into a great system where everything's set up and documented and shows them what to do step by step, and therefore they can go in and want to kind of take over and do a good job on day one. So if you eliminate those four things, what you'll find is what's left is you'll realize a couple of things. One of those things is um, that you don't have to do meetings. You don't have to do requests on your times. In fact, you can, uh, you can actually play offense on the communication and go out of your way to inform people even before they ask, which will actually eliminate the need for most meetings and most requests on your time. And the more you deliver a standardized, great experience, and the more you get that out of your head and put it on paper and the more you see the idea that I can go further with other people it's not just about going faster in the short term it's about going further in the long term right like we want to think about running our agency as a marathon not as a sprint yes if I do it myself I can get it done in five minutes but it, and if I hire somebody it might take me 20 but which one of those can I go further with and the answer is indefinitely with employees with systems with teams with leveraged energy so what we want to create the, the power of, of creating like a four-hour agency is really what you're building is a leveraged energy machine and oh this door is about to close we don't want to close this door because it tends to stay closed thank you zelda b so if you guys do those things, you'll have an agency that has double beach days. Like yesterday, we just went to the double beach day. We went kayaking on the water. Nilka went paddle boarding. And uh, we just did because we can. And I'm not saying it's all rainbows and butterflies and there are challenges and things to figure out. But what we're building and what we continue to build and will continue to build in the future is an optimized, energy efficient leverage machine. And that's what you want to think about building in your agency, which is a little tough to do in the beginning because in the beginning you're usually just trying to get clients at all. And then when you do, it's a little mismatched bunch of pieces that don't really fit together and you can easily end up getting stuck. So I hope that makes a lot of sense for you guys and that uh, you got some amazing, amazing value out of there. And uh, that's all I got for you this morning. I was thinking really hard about what would be really cool to share with you guys. So that's all I got. May the force be with you. And if you haven't subscribed already, do so. I think I'm going to go have some juice and chill out a little bit. Thank you.